Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Team Cross Nation, and in this video, we're going to be going over what exactly is Overwrite and how to identify it. Now, keep in mind, this is a beginner video, so for any beginning players out there, it might be worth watching this video. Whereas, if anybody out there happens to be an, a veteran player, I don't know, might be just fun to watch. But without further ado, let's get started with the video. Okay, so first of all, before we get started with anything else, we need to ask ourselves, what exactly is overwrite? Well, the easiest way to describe this is that it's the replacement of existing status effect changes with new ones, okay? The best way to kind of think about this is almost like a math equation, where if you have uh, 2 plus 2 equals 4, in a normal situation, with normal metals that raise or lower your status effects, they're similar to addition and subtraction, where 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now, the difference between a normal metal and overwrite is that overwrite just completely says, fuck the system, <laughs> doesn't care what the math equation is, and just decides that 2 plus 2 now equals a Patrick star. So in a normal metal that just simply raises or lowers, buffs and debuffs such as with uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie that we have over here. Uh, you will notice over here the, we have two pictures of metal descriptions, okay, and metal abilities for the special attacks. We have Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie and we're gonna have the Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus. In the Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie that provides the normal raising and lowering of status effects. What the difference between a normal metal and metal with overwrite is that the normal metal, when describing the buffs and debuffs, as you can see like over here and such, okay, the normal metal will have arrows indicating that it's l raising or lowering the amount. Whereas a overwrite metal, such as Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus over here, does not have any arrows at all whatsoever. It just straight up says the number and that's it. it does not raise or lower it just straight up replaces it with what it currently has if it has an arrow it's a normal metal that raises or lowers the amount if it does not have any arrows such as kingdom hearts 2 kyrie ex plus then it's an override metal all right so here we're going to have a few examples to help describe what exactly is override how does it work and how what is the difference between uh other types of normal metals okay so in this situation we're going to have Strelitzia over here on the right. She's going to represent the player. And then we're going to have Sephiroth here on the right. Uh, who's going to represent the enemy. Okay, that you're going to be fighting. So, in a normal situation, let's say that in this situation that we're going to be using uh, Supernova Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku. And this is his kind of uh, ability card. So, Supernova Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku provides... Plus 15 tiers of general strength buffs, uh, raises your upright strength by 15 tiers, raises your power strength by 15 tiers, and lowers the enemy's general defense by 15 tiers. Okay? Is that, like, this is the only thing that that matters for, for what we're going to be talking about. Okay, so in this situation, as of right now, we currently have no buffs and no debuffs. Okay? Both players, or both, you know, characters currently have nothing on them. They're neutral, in a sense. So, once we use our Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku, it would then apply those exact same buffs that he provides, okay? Our Strelitzia over here would have 15 tiers uh, of their general strength, power strength, and upright strength raised by 15. And the opponent, Sephiroth, would have their general defense lowered by 15 tiers. Okay, makes sense. They start off at zero, so of course, if they gain or lose anything, it goes to that exact at that exact amount. So that's easy enough. But now, what if the opponent actually starts off with something? Let's say the, let's say Sephiroth starts off with already having plus fifteen tiers of general strength, I mean general defense uh, buffs. In that situation, when you activate your Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku, what would happen is that because of the fact that Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku lowers the opponent's general defense by 15 tiers, Sephiroth's uh, general defense would no longer be 15 and would instead become zero because of the fact that, well, it, it's simple 
subtraction. 15 minus 15 equals zero. Okay, so this would end up being irrelevant and only Strelitzia would have any buffs at all. Again, this is to describe a normal type of metal that provides normal buffs and debuffs uh, and does not have overwrite. Now we're going to go on to describe overwrite and how that affects different types of situations. So for this examples, or the examples I should say, uh, we're going to be using Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus for our example. Her entire ability has overwrite and she literally provides seven tiers of everything except reverse. So seven tiers of general strength buffs, seven tiers of upright strength buffs, PSM strength buffs, uh, general defense debuffs, upright defense debuffs, and PSM defense debuffs. PSM is just short for power speed magic, by the way. So, going along the same type of thought, uh, in the situation that both players start off with nothing, if you were to use your Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus, both players would then have exactly what it provided, which is plus seven tiers of strength of buffs, strength buffs of all types for the player, and minus seven tiers of the defense debuffs of all types for the enemy. Now to go along what we had with last time, let's say for example now that Sephiroth starts up with plus 15 tiers of general defense buffs. How did this affect Overwrite? Well, in this example, because of the fact that Overwrite, if we go back to our description, is literally the replacement of existing status effect changes with new ones, all buffs and debuffs are considered status effect changes according to the game. So in this situation, once you use the Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus medal, while Sephiroth has the uh, plus 15 tiers at general defense buffs, the general defense of uh, Sephiroth is no longer going to be 15. And unlike the normal medals that just simply add or subtract what they currently have, it literally gets replaced with what uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie says in her description. So it literally, it just goes straight down to minus seven tiers of general defense debuffs since that is exactly what Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus provides, okay? Anything that you or the opponent currently have that the metal with overwrite lists as part of its ability will get replaced with whatever it is in its ability. So in this situation, Sephiroth has minus seven general defense debuffs whereas before it used to have the plus 15 general defense uh, buffs now it's possible if you understood that uh, that you might be thinking well that's actually pretty dang good okay because then if the opponent is just decked out in like defense buffs and stuff like that um or the opponent or same way for us if we happen to have been have our strength lowered a ton the overwrite on metals such as Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus for example is super useful and to a degree yes it is you're completely right however there is a problem with overwrite which is where let's say let's say both players uh, or both, you know, characters already start off with a bunch of buffs and debuffs. So let's say our Strelitzio over here already starts off with max uh, strength buffs of all types, okay, at 15 tiers, which is currently the uh, current cap you can have. And Sephiroth over here has minus 15 tiers of defense of all types, which is, again, also currently the cap. In this situation, overwrite using Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus would actually be a detriment to the current situation. Uh, because, like, remember, it is the replacement of existing status effect changes with new ones. So, it would literally replace what is currently here with what she provides. So in this situation, if we casted our Kyrie EX Plus, she would literally say, nope to all of these tier values and instead uh, we would replace it again back to just seven tiers of everything okay which is as you can tell completely less it's about half more or less of what we originally had so this is one of the situation that is uh, bad now the reason why I state this uh, and I wanted to show this example right here 
or it's actually a detriment to your setup is, is to help people realize uh, when a metal will end up affecting your setup. Uh, which, because there, I'll get messages every once in a while asking, well, like, well, I had max buffs and debuffs, why is my blah 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 doing less damage? And just to find out they had overwrite on a later metal in their setup. So this situation is almost exactly like this kind of setup right here, where you have like a Kyrie EX Plus that provides, which you can see over here, it provides max general strength and general defense buffs and debuffs. Uh, 12 tiers of PSM buffs and debuffs and 7 tiers of the upright buffs and debuffs. So it's it's a pretty good uh, Buff or debuff for metal if you copy it one more time, you'll have pretty much max everything else Okay, so so Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie is essentially almost like a normal metal that provides normal raising and lowering of buffs and debuffs whereas Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX plus over here once you reach to her, it literally resets it back to seven tiers of everything. Okay, so you, you can see that right here on Tracker, on the Cux Tracker website. It starts off at 15 tiers, but then once you get to the four slot where Kyrie EX Plus is, it then gets lowered back to seven, which is not what we want, but it's co commonly what happens in many beginner uh, setups is that they don't realize they're actually hurting their setup by putting the overwrite metal later on compared to having it uh for example instead of having the Kyrie here putting kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie ex plus in the beginning instead so that way they at least stack with each other you can have the benefit of having everyone start off at a neutral position buff them up to seven tiers with the Kyrie ex plus so that way they have the seven tiers of everything then from there you can then provide the rest of the buffs and debuffs with your Kyrie ex plus okay so this is more this is the correct way to use overwrite metals which is to put them pretty much first in the setup so they don't hinder your setup later on by having them like later in the setup but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video but and if you did please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell button is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. I have quite a long list of beginner videos I'm looking to try and make uh, and upload fairly soon. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace guys.